In this video, I'll show you how to apply for Bluehost Affiliate Program. Bluehost is a web hosting company where you can get your hosting plan and a domain at the same time for your WordPress website. So for those of you who don't know what Bluehost is, that's what it's all about. All right. So to begin with, you need to be a Bluehost customer. Okay. Meaning you need to be using Bluehost because if you are using their product, then you can write good articles or good reviews for this particular product. The good thing about Bluehost our affiliate program is that anytime somebody buy through your link, you get $65. Affiliate payment is available on the 16th of every month. You need to have a professional email address. Also, you need to have a website. Okay. The reason for that policy is that you have to write reviews about your product. Okay. So you cannot, even though you can do this on YouTube, but you need to have your own website. Okay. Because they don't want people to be spamming their links on uh, social media. Okay. So that's why you need to have your own website. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into it to show you how to apply for it. And also I will show you how to apply for the tax form. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. So first of all, you need to, when you get to their website, you need to just scroll down all the way down. All right and click on affiliate all right so on this page you just have to click sign up all right so this is how the page look like so i'll walk you through the process and show you how to apply for it okay all right so now you have to choose a username and please don't complicate things for yourself blogging let's pretend this is the username okay all right so it's taking that's why it says no, not available. So let's try and add something to it. Okay. Let's say blogging Z. Okay. Let's see if it's available. Okay. So now it's available. Okay. So we are just using it as an example. Now moving on is the password. All right. So choose a password that is unique. Okay. To you and nobody can remember. Okay. So you type in here, then you confirm here. Okay. So it's time to fill in your account information okay so first name last name John. all right so the first name let's assume john and the last name is doe okay then your phone all right so let's pretend this is your phone number okay i'm just using random stuff okay for company name you can use your blog website name or your personal name okay so let's pretend this is uh the comp the company name all right then your address okay your address your city your state your postal code then email address this is not your gmail email address okay this is your professional email address so for example john at bloggingz.com okay that's what you have to use don't use gmail if you use gmail they will not approve it then you type in the name of your website all right don't use the ww just type in all right it could be any of your url that you want to use okay for payment information you need uh, to set up paypal account if you don't have one then you put your paypal account email address here okay that it can be your gmail email address or whatever it's just the email address that you use to set up your PayPal account because Bluehost will pay you through PayPal. All right. So that's how it works with Bluehost policy. All right. Then you click on this. Then you click sign up. All right. So now I've logged into my professional web mail to check my email. Okay. And uh, as you can see here, and it says welcome new bluehost affiliate okay so this might take hours if you don't have the necessary requirement to that might slow your stuff down okay so I always make sure you are using the right stuff when you're applying okay now to begin referring use your track link so this is my track link right now okay all right let's move on to the third one three before payment can be issued your tax form must be approved and your account must reach at the hundred dollars minimum requirement for the first payout all right 
if you don't have your task form uh, ready you cannot withdraw money all right all right so for you can view the affiliate terms and payment schedule all right so you can click on this and uh, read the terms it's really important if you need any assistance with your affiliate account please open an affiliate support ticket that is if you have any questions so you can chat so to email the affiliate uh, department this is the email address okay so you can just email them through this link you need to get hundred dollars minimum in your account before you can withdraw money so technically you need two sales before you can start withdrawing okay to be able to withdraw money also you need to fill in your tax form if you don't have your tax form ready you cannot withdraw money all right so now i'm gonna log in into my affiliate account to show you how to get access to the tax form all right okay so to log in you're gonna just click on the affiliate link all right so this time around you're not gonna click sign up you're gonna click login okay so you click on login all right so you can use your username or email address and your password okay all right then click login okay so as you can see this is the inside all right so right now i've not made any sales yet so this is how it's gonna look like okay all right so to get your tax form click on settings then click on tax form right here all right so this is what you are interested in okay i mean forget about this are you a u.s person see definition below so if you are u.s person you click on yes all right then you're gonna get this okay then you work on it okay so you're gonna be feeling all this if you're a US person okay but if you say no then this is what you're gonna get all right so then you fill this then you submit okay so since most of us are outside US I'm gonna use the no okay i'm not gonna type anything i'll just walk you through typing takes too long so i'm not gonna be typing so first thing name of individual who is the beneficial owner okay so you type in your full name here your country of citizenship so let's say if for instance i'm living in canada i have to type in canada if you're living in brazil type brazil if you live in india type indian okay then your street address okay so fill in your address and do not use p.o box okay we don't want p.o box here then your city town or state or region all right then your country name you type in your country name here okay mailing address if different from above okay then moving on you see how it's moving fast if i have to type it's gonna take forever so u.s tax identity whatever so here it doesn't apply to you okay then here foreign tax identity number in some most countries outside u.s well except uh, like the western countries like canada uk whatever this applies okay so canada for instance you have to enter your social insurance number okay if you are living in the country that has a tax identity number then write your tax identity number if not please write not applicable all right reference numbers just leave this side empty don't do it don't type anything here just leave it the way it is then your date of birth okay so the month dash the day dash the year okay then moving on all right so i satisfy that the beneficial owner is a resident of then you type your country name okay so for instance i'm in canada i type in canada if you are in you uh, india you type indian if you are in brazil you type brazil if you are in somewhere like australia or nigeria or you know south africa just uh, just type that okay then 
special rates and conditions the beneficial owner is claiming the provision of article 7 this is article 7 okay and uh, when you read the instruction from the beginning all right everything is there or even when you click here okay let me just try and open it all right so this is it okay so this is the form you can go through it let's go back all right so section three i decided to you know type in stuff just so i can explain to you properly okay so here i certify that the beneficial owner is a resident of in my case canada in your case it might be indian then here is the article seven okay so you type in this and uh this is the article seven i'm talking about and explain the reason beneficial owner meets the terms of the treaty article beneficial owner has a permanent establishment only in canada in your case type in your country here okay and all work is performed in canada or in your country let's say in india okay let's move this thing all right so we start from here then we move to here okay all right so when you're done then you move on to the last section so here tick on yes in the checkbox okay that means you've read and understood this is this one okay so you check the yes then here uh, signature of the beneficial owner so because you are not you know using like a physical form just type in your name here okay first and last name all right so here you just have to leave it like that because it says capacity in which acting if the form is not signed by beneficial owner okay but you are the beneficial owner so you sign here okay so you're just gonna leave this empty because you are not signing for somebody okay yeah that is if you are filling the form for somebody who doesn't understood but in most cases i will not advise you because this is good for companies and agencies okay yeah so you leave this one just the way it is and when you are done then click submit tax form okay it's gonna take a couple of days okay if you are living in the western countries it means uh, you don't have to worry about tax uh penalties and stuff like that because at the end of the year they will send you bluehost will send you or will give you a link so you can go print your your tax forms to for your income tax okay but uh even if you are not living in uh western countries or a tax you know applicable countries you still have to fill this and they know how to go about it okay all right so i guess this brings me to the end of the tutorial and uh thanks for watching please like comment share and above all subscribe 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 thank you and i'll catch you in another video all right take care bye bye